Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we solve exercise number 3-17. The base model which gonna use in this exercise is model 3-2. So you need to first open the exercise model 3-2 as discussed in chapter 3. This is a relatively long exercise uh, question statement. So I am not uh, going to read all the statement. But in a nutshell, you need to change some number of replications and replication length value as compared to the no warm-up period and with warm-up period and then we review the result statistic value and let's see what comes out so let's first open the model this is the model 3-2 so there is nothing changed in the model 3-2 but in this exercise we actually made changes in the run setup menu and here the first uh, in the first uh, case number of application is 1 and warm up period value is 0 and replication length is 160 hours and then simply click ok and select this run control under the batch run no animation to fast forward the result value and let's run the model click this yes button and here you can see simply note down these values the total time for application in the process is 16.083 with half width value is insufficient as we did only one replication. Okay, so close out the result. And now let's change its run setup value for number of application from 1 to 50 and the replication length again 160 hours and warm up period value is 0 click ok and make sure this run control batch run no animation is already selected and then run the model again fast forward it so 50 replications have been done click the yes button and here you can see the total time for application in the system is 14.37 with its half width value of 1.28 okay now close the window and again run the model with these parameter value with the number of repl uh, replication is 1 warm up period is again 0 but replication length is 16,000 hours and again run the model and click this yes button and here you can see the total time under one replication length is 21.31 with its half width value of 1.89 now this is the last case with no warm up period and in this case number of replication is 50 and the application length is 16,000 hours ok and again run the model and fast forward it so you can see the stack values under the status bar ok so 50 replications have been completed click this yes button and here you can see the total time for application in system is 19.800 with its half width value of 0.33 so hopefully you have recorded all these leading values on a paper ok now repeat the same process with 40 hours warm length period value so make the number of application 1 application length is 160 and warm up period is 40 hours and then click ok and run the model and here you can see the application time uh, total time in system is 17.24 ok now close the window run the model again with 50 replications warm up period is 40 and replication length is 160 run the model fast forward it hit this yes button 
and here you can see the total timing system is 15.51 with this half width value of 1.54 exactly repeat the same step with number of replication 1 and replication length is 16,000 hours and the other experiment is number of replication value is 50 and the replication length value is again 16,000 hours with 40 hours warm up period and here is the summary of all the number of replications and replication length and with no warm up period and with 40 hours warm up period and these are the stat values which uh, can be uh, achieved from the model 3-2 so in part a it's not just unlucky randomness that causes the model the original model value 16.0831 to be so far below 20 as 14.37 plus minus 1.28 stays clearly well below the 20 and in part b the much longer the run seems to produce the result right around the steady state mean of 20 suggesting that the original 160 hours run is just not long enough to get close to steady state operating conditions and that 16,000 hours is long enough and in part C even after making the 50 replications the longer run length appears to be sufficient to get close to the steady state and in part D in all the cases the 40 hours warm up period increases the average total time in system as we would expect since it cut out some of the initial under projected times in system its effect is much less important though when the run is longer due to sheer arithmetic for the short run length of 160 hours the 40 hours warm up period helps but it's not enough to cause the remaining time period to be closer to the steady state operating condition as in the case B above and don't have the true target of 20 for comparison in practice. So the one lesson learned is that run conditions of the run length and the warm up period can affect output result dramatically and thus deserve a much attention as the model building itself and as an other point to make is that with reference to the previous discussion seems to suggest that we want to get to steady state as some kind of right answer this is not always so so you may be interested in the initial transient startup behavior of some systems just as much as you are in the long run steady state behavior it all depends on what you want to know about your system and this concludes our exercise 3-17.